Hey guys, Darn Ridgely with that Darn Realtors team right here in downtown Chattanooga at the Keller Williams office. Back to talk about the five things you need to know before you start your home search. We talked about knowing your budget, knowing yourself, knowing your spouse, and now we're going to talk a little bit about you know knowing reality. Uh, one of the top things that we struggle with when, when, when we are helping our buyers is don't go look at a $150,000 house if, you're, if your budget is topped out at $125,000. I know that it is still a buyer's market, but here in Chattanooga, things are actually moving pretty well, and we're not nearly as bad off as a lot of other areas in the country. And so our list price to sell price ratio is still about 94%, meaning that the people that are selling their houses are getting within 6% of what they're asking. So you're not going to find a $150,000 house that someone's willing to shave $30,000 off. A lot of times they simply can't. You know, they owe the bank X amount of money, and that's what they've got to get in order to sell their home. And so it's unrealistic to expect a lot of these houses to take a $30,000, $40,000 haircut on the cost, on the list price of their home. So, and you know, it's like anything else. Um, there's two dangers to that. If you go look at a bunch of $150,000 houses and the top of your loan limit's one twenty-five, one, you're going to look at a bunch of houses that you won't be able to make the offer that'll buy that house, but two... Those $150,000 houses have some things that the houses that we're going to end up looking at in the 125 range aren't going to have, and that's going to end up jading your home search because I think you're going to end up expecting those same amenities, and that's going to make the process harder <clears throat> harder on you. Um, so really, you got to know reality. Know what's realistic. Know your market. Uh, talk to your realtor. It is your realtor's job to tell you what's going on in your market. If you're not getting that, you really need to look for another realtor. Um, so be realistic, and that way you have realistic expectations of what you're going to find, and it makes that whole process much more comfortable for you. So uh, if you're not getting, like I said, if you're not getting that from your realtor, I can't tell you enough how much you, that is one of the key things that they can help you, is they can give you a true shot of what's really going on in the market and what reality is right now.